by the end of this video you would have built an ar application with multiple image detection in our previous video i've shown you how to set up a unity project for AR development using AR Foundation, which you can check it out over here. Apart from that, I've also covered plane detection, image detection, face recognition, point clouds, AR raycasting and anchors, which you can check it out over here as well. All right, so here I have my Unity project open. I'm using the version 2022.3.13 F1 LTS. Also, this project has been set up for AR development by importing the AR Foundation package, Google AR Core XR plugin package, and the XR plugin management. Along with this, I have set up all the player settings such as removing the auto graphics API, removing the Vulkan API, unchecking the multi thread rendering, setting the minimum level to 24, having the scripting back into IL2 CPP, and checking the ARM64. Now, if you want to know more, then check out this video where then I show you how to set up your project for AR development. Now, for multiple image detection, we need multiple images. We need models or prefab for each of those images and we need a script to show the model when the image is recognized and remove the model when the image is no longer seen. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Go ahead and download the Unity package which is linked in the description below and import it into Unity. For this experience, I'm using the three starter Pokemons and you can find their models inside assets, AR resources, prefabs and their respective images inside the images folder. I have downloaded these models from Sketchfab and thanks to each of the creators for letting us download these models for free. Also, if you go back to AR resources, inside the scripts folder, you'll find the image tracker script. Open it up and I will see you in Visual Studio. Quick break. This video is sponsored by my own company, Immersive Insiders, and we have some really epic news for you. We are launching Europe's biggest in-person XR hackathon and you are invited. You and 150 other amazing XR creators from all Europe and across the world are invited to Berlin for four days of prototyping, meeting amazing people, having good food, being in Berlin, having amazing time basically, and most importantly, potentially getting funded by Meta and our other sponsors to really bring your idea into um, reality also. Since we only have 150 seats available, of course, I would highly recommend you to act fast because once um, you are approved, it is first come first served. So don't, don't, don't sleep on this. Get ahead and uh, apply now. We're looking forward to meeting you in Berlin, xrcc.events and there we go. I will see you there and now let's move on with the video. Now this script is responsible for spawning and augmenting 3D models on top of the tracked images. It's also responsible for hiding those models once the image is no longer seen in the camera's field of view. This script is using the XR.AR foundation and XR.AR subsystem libraries. The first thing that we want to do here is to reference the AR track image manager and reference all the game objects or prefabs that you'd like to spawn. And we also need a variable to store all the spawned prefabs. On enable, we want to subscribe to the image manager's track image changes action. And when this action is invoked, the handle image change function gets caught. And like a good programmer, on disable, we want to unsubscribe to this action as well. Generally, the tracked images changed action is called when the images are added, removed, or updated. So when the handle image changed function is called, an argument of type AR track images changed event arcs is passed. We can make use of these arguments to instantiate the object when the images are detected for the first time and then later hide them or unhide them based on the image tracking. So to access the images that are added, we can use args.added function which will return a list of AR tracked images. Now since this is a list, we can use the for each loop to go through each of the images and also go through each of the prefab that we'd like to spawn. And when the image that have been added, the name of that image matches the prefab name, then we instantiate a new prefab. We make sure that the new prefab name is the same as the prefab that we'd like to spawn and add it to the list of spawned AR objects. Now to access the images that are updated, we can use args.updated function, which also returns a list of AR tracked images that are currently being updated. So we can use the for each loop to go through each of the images that are updated and we can use the for each loop to go through each of the prefab that have already been spawned and if the spawn prefab name is the same as the name of the image that is being updated then we hide them or unhide them 
So we hide them when the image tracking state is not equal to tracking and we want to show them when the image tracking state is equal to tracking. All right, so now that you know how the scripts works, let's go back into Unity. All right, let's set up our scene by deleting the main camera. Right click, select XR, add AR session. Right click once again, select XR and add XR origin. Now these comes along with XR origin component, AR session and input manager. If you'd like to know more about these, then you can check out this video over here. Select XR origin and add a component called as AR track image manager. This needs a XR reference image library, which we can create by right clicking inside your asset folder. Click on create, select XR and click on reference image library. Here we need to add three images. So click on add images thrice. Lock your inspector window, go inside AR resources, images and add these three images over here like this. And they should automatically give them the name, which is going to be the same name as our prefabs that you can see over here. Now select the XR origin, unlock your inspector window, go back to assets, add the reference image library. Next, add a component called image tracker, which uh, which is a script that I showed you some time back. It needs the image manager, so you can drag and drop that over here. It needs the AR objects, so you can lock this inspector window. Go inside the resources prefabs and drag and drop each of the prefab inside here like this. And that's it. So you can save your scene. Make sure to connect your phone to your laptop or PC and go to file, build settings. Make sure to add your open scene and it's on Android platform. Click on build and run. You can give your APK any name or call it as image detection and click on save. All right. So here you can see that I have three different images being tracked and three different models tracked on top of them. So if any one of the images out of sight, the models disappears. And once you scan the image once again, it reappears. All right. So now you know how to set up multiple image tracking and spawn multiple objects on top of them. If something does not work for you, do let us know in the comments below. If you found this video to be helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.